This is an adult's night out. It is raunchy, X-rated and at times even violent. I wonder how we would react to the sight of children amongst this crowd of explicit adult behaviour. How much of us would take our young children with us to an environment such as this one? I suspect that not a lot of us would. As an adult, if this is not to your liking, you have the option of voting with your feet. Ready on the other hand is a lot less easy to control. It is more intrusive and very hard to protect our children from. This is me, driving along, proud to be entertained by people of my culture. Happy for the opportunity to be able to listen to the music of my choice. Well, that is, until the assault and abuse from the radio district. Lately, there has been a lot of negative attention casted on black music especially the music from Jamaica and the USA. I sum it up like this. Artists, for the most part, are supposed to be adults. As long as there is no law saying they can't say certain things, they will. And let's not forget, most artists are from humble beginnings and not well educated. Where the disc jacks on the other hand should be more responsible in their presentation. If they didn't advertise certain songs, they would never have been socially acceptable. Playing certain songs is tantamount to coming in from work and be confronted by your children watching a blue movie on CBBC. I find most radio disc jocks abusive to their community. But what is worst is the fact that they might not be aware of it. I find myself wondering if the mature responsible segment of our community have any issues with this vulgarity, violence or profanity coming through the radio waves. So I decided to speak to members of the community. I personally don't have a problem with it because I believe that if you don't want to listen to it then just don't listen to it so I've got no problem whatsoever. I agree with that. If you don't want to listen to it then don't tune in. Yeah. I think it is absolutely disgraceful. I find that I cannot listen to one particular radio station for the whole day. The profanity is unnecessary and we don't need it. We don't need it. You can only get those type of DJs only on pirate radio. But my major concern is really on the children, on the younger children who haven't got common sense to decipher, you know what, that's not right. They grow up, they're growing up idolising, you know, these artists. Mm. But I think with that, that's where you just have to teach your child right from wrong. Because your, your child's going to grow up to be in a society where a lot of things change. Yeah. And I think you can only do so much in your household when your child steps out into that real world, there's going to be so much influence. So, so you think it's okay for Paris stations to play the raw material? Yeah, why not though? It depends on the type of material. If you're talking explicit lyrics, swearing and cursing and that, why not? Because who don't care? Yeah? I think the DJs have a responsibility. The DJs in the UK, they're like celebrities and they have an open forum to influence. Okay, so I want to speak directly to the DJs. I think more time you think you're just playing to you and your brethren. But actual fact, in actual fact, you've got the community listening to you because you're playing on a community radio station, or at least that's what I believe pipe radio stations should be. 
The problem is, is that a lot of the tunes that you're playing, I just want to hear in a dance. So shoot, shoot, you know, tunes about bullets and shooting up man and gal, skin out your pom pom and all of these tunes aren't for radio. Because if I've got my grandma sitting next to me in the car, or my godchildren, or whoever. First and foremost, you shouldn't have that sort of music before, I believe, 9 p.m., which is core time. So you have after 9, 10, 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. You can play the type of music you wish. But right beforehand, it does send out the wrong messages to the people, and, and the lyrics is, is just totally degrading to all generations, more importantly to women. And then you have women who are encouraged to dance by this kind of music. But the lyrics is more than degrading, it's beneath us. And I think if we women do not act up on the music, if we don't, if we don't react to the music, the men will have to stop this. The men will have to stop this. You're talking about your own type of women. Why should you want to degrade your own? I don't know any other minorities that do this to their community. So why should we? Why can we? Why do we do this? Why do we press the self-destruct button? So whilst we're there pointing at the system and the government and the police, the first place we need to start is with ourselves. And let's be responsible for what we portray and what we portray on our airwaves because that's telling the world who we say we are. And if that's who we say we are, then no wonder we're in trouble. And that's not a great representation of who we are as people. You've got to take it away. You know what? It's just, it's just what it is, really. I don't know, like, really, true. I can't. Okay, yes, certain music, certain words and swearing and stuff that they say, it's wrong. But I don't know. I just believe that it's a market to certain, certain people. And if people like it, you shouldn't stop it. Do you know what I mean? I think everybody's got a mind for themselves. And I'm a strong character that kind of thing won't influence me and I'll raise my child to be the same way. So. Are you aware that, that, that um, some music degrades women? Yeah. Are you okay with music being pumped on the ear that degrades women even though some men like it? I don't <laughs> think it's a thing where you, it, we're okay with it. Obviously, if it's degrading women, no woman's going to be okay with it yeah. because it's something that happens so often. It's like when you hear it, you it's almost like, oh, whatever. Yeah, you kind of get used thing. to it. You brush it off. So basically, you have become sensitized to it. But is that a good thing? It's, it's not a good thing, but you can't stop it because you can't, again, you can't stop people doing from what they doing what they want to do. Earlier on, someone said, things are the way they are and we just have to accept it. Um, just over a hundred years ago, a group of black people decided that they wanted slavery no more. And because they fought hard enough and, and, and gathered steam from other people saying, you know what, maybe this is not something we need to, to accept. We are now able to sit here and do this. Do you still believe that you have to accept what, uh, whatever is seen as the social norm? Um, to if, it's, an ex if, it, if it's not good, do you no, you don't. You don't have to accept it. You, if something isn't good, you shouldn't accept it anyway. But there's only so much change you can make. Like what you said, there was a group of people who started, who started um, revolting against yeah slavery. against slavery. Nowadays, black people can't even congregate together because mm. there's going to be a breakout, there's mm. going to be a fight, there's going to be a stabbing, there's going to be a shooting. Yeah. So it's almost like you you don't you don't settle for it. You don't have to accept it, but. You just do what you want to do, and it's a shame to say that it's true. Yep. And what if what if the music is up, is contributing to that? But then, but then, if the music is contributing to that, then okay, fair enough. To an extent, it needs to stop. But it's like it's kind of unfair because if the music, if you're going to stop a certain kind of music, then you might as well stop all kind of music. I think like the way the world is, it's just like every, it's like every man for themselves, like. People just do what they want. This. But in saying that, that's not a good thing. If that is every man for themselves, I think we should be able to work as a community. We should be able to work together. But this society is it just not like that at all. After speaking to some residents, it was obvious I had to confront the DJs who are not afraid to defend their position. I needed to find out more about the history of black pirate stations. Who better to speak to than people who were there from the beginning? 
I decided to drop in on the President's radio show. That's the classically dulcet tones of Jamali, a gentleman who celebrates his birthday this week. So, singer, we know you've got that, that nice class. I was not surprised and was very happy to find the president playing radio-friendly music. However, my happiness was short-lived. I could see that this visit was going to be an interesting one. The following is what I uncovered over the next few months. <laughs> you see, we call that, we call that poetic license. Because I, 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 I don't really smoke, no. I don't get high, I'm just high on life. You trust me? What did I have on my mind, sir? Burn down to fun, I'm on it every time I got sex on my mind Sex on my mind, and I know what it is when they make me money fine Sex in my mind, sex in my mind Yo, President, pull up the tune! My name is Kennedy Mensah, otherwise known as... Hold on. <coughs> Yizzy, 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 Yizzy. Otherwise known as President, make sure you spell it right, you know. P-R-E-Z-E-D-E-N-T. Don't get it twisted. Back to the future representing. I'm a journalist, DJ, compare, and I'm also a music publisher. Got a company, Back to the Future Music. Um, our forte is reggae music, but the company deals with all sorts of music. Uh, my name is DJ OP, represent Ida Family, promoting music on the radio for the last 30 odd years, playing the best in the UK and promoting just music. My name's DJ Fatman, I'm on Roots FM on a Monday night from 8 till 10, and I play an upfront rear groove and revival and R&B show. My name is Shawnee B, the remix kid, broadcaster, producer, DJ, just love music, you know what I'm saying? Used to broadcast on BBC Radio 1 Extra and Radio 1, got a label, Big League Production, so yeah, I'm just involved in the music 24-7. My name is Movie Star Johnny, I'm a disc jockey, radio disc jockey, also a um, yes, dancer selector and a promoter based in London, England. DJ Young Lion, BBC One Extra presenter, broadcaster, also BBC Radio One. I'm a DJ entertainer. You can see me all about the place, all, all across the globe, all across the UK. Mud. Where will things change? Where will we 